is this a good time to sort of talk about the heart rate monitor? Um, I know that's sort of tracked on-chain data. I don't know if it's user specifically in particular. I know we mentioned that in the the update, our latest blog post date. Um, yeah, I, I can talk a little bit about that. So the heart monitor that we built in-house is, is basically opens up a WebSocket connection to the uh, phone nodes. And it, it tracks like um, events that happen on chain. Uh, so basically, it, it kind of like, I mentioned archive nodes earlier. Um, this is essentially taking that and putting it into a, a database for us to query later. So that's that's how we serve the aggregate stats, like total volume, um, total volume locked, total volume traded, daily active users, et cetera. Uh, but we actually also use it for the liquidation engine. Um, the liquidation engine basically it, it tracks individual positions, and it um, it, it keys it by like the the address and the, the market that you're trading in. So like some Nibi one Fubar, and then uh, like BTC USD market. Um, and it it keeps updating the um, the basically the margin ratio and how leveraged you are by tracking the prices that are on chain. Uh, so that, that's another thing that it, it listens to. It listens to every position, and every every position affects the the mark price of the perps market, and that gets stored as well, so that we can have like a price graph. That that's how we actually serve the price graph. That's that's on the web app. Um, but yeah, that's that's like a internal tool that we use just to as like the ingestion point of our data pipeline. And. Do you think we could repackage this later as just like a general indexer for for other products that could be usable, or um, is this just meant for Nibiru for now? It's it's for Nibiru right now, but honestly, it's um, it ties into the Cosmos SDK really well. So it uses like the, the, all the proto messages from the Cosmos SDK plus uh, uses the Tendermint RPC endpoints. So technically, it could interop with any cosmos based chain and we, we could open source it down the road it's just not i don't feel it's like um production ready yet like right now it has a lot of uh information details that are specific to Hebrew. and if we can distract those away into general config and make make the code base a bit cleaner then yeah, i don't see why we we can't open source it 